We're back in the war, boy. Hey, this isn't a town, it's a hospital. You mean an aid station? Come on, sit down. You won't find any real nurses this far forward. Sit down. They're real! Yeah. They're real, all right. Real, real. Three of them. And there are probably more inside. It's a real hospital. That's what it says. 325th evacuation. Hey, Marsh, come back here. Let's get him. Get out of all up here. Come on, get back in that truck. Sheriff, you come with me. Production. Guest stars, Jeremy Slate and Peggy Ann Garner. He's cracked, Sarge. He's cracked. Come on, let's get him. What's the matter with oh, you? Oh, leave me alone, will you? Oh, come Sarge. on, boy. That's an officer you're messing around with. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. It's just that he, he hasn't been getting much sleep. I'm all right. I'm all right. This is my wife. Is your wife? Yeah. Oh, honey, this is a Sarge, and that's Kirby. He's my best buddy. Well, uh... Congratulations, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, pleased to meet you, sir. Uh, miss, uh, where are you supposed to go? Mrs. March, I don't know. Lieutenant March. Lieutenant March, what's happening here? This is Andy, my husband, doctor. He, uh... And these men? I'm Sergeant Son, this 361st. We're in a convoy headed forward. Uh, Corporal March just found out his wife was stationed here, sir. Yes, sir, you see, uh, perhaps you'd better hold your reunion outside, Lieutenant. These other men aren't feeling quite that cheerful. I'm sorry, Doctor. Go ahead, you're relieved of duty until your husband's convoy leaves. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is a real bedside matter for you. Come on, Kirby, let's go sir. He's got one. 
He's got a nurse. Andy, please. Let him look. Andy, not here. It isn't fair. It's been such a long time, honey. I, I was asleep, and I heard the guys talking, and then I heard hospital, and then 325th, and I just knew it. <laughs> Couldn't believe it, but I knew it. How have you been? Your letters haven't caught up with me for over a month now. I just can't believe you're here. I'm here. Excuse me, Lieutenant. We have to move out. The convoy's already moved out. Oh, come on, Sarge. I haven't seen her since... The sergeant can't help that. We have to move out, March. I'm sorry. Look, Sarge, once we cross the river, we're, we're, we're going to be moving fast. I may not get a chance to see her till after the war. What are you talking about? You're better off than the rest of us right now. Oh, you stay out of this, Kirby. What do you know about it? You're not married. You don't got to be married. I'll talk to I... Lieutenant Hanley. Maybe we can swing a couple of days for you. You're kidding. Really? I, I'd give my right arm for 48 hours. Did you hear that, honey? I said I'd ask. I can't promise anything. Yeah, fat chance you got to get in a pass in the middle of a war, March. You really think it might be possible, Sergeant? I'll do my best, Lieutenant. Let's go, Kirby. March, two minutes. Nice to have met you. Yeah. Uh, any friend of Andy's, uh, turn to mine. How come he can do that? It's his wife, numbskull. His wife? His wife? His wife. They're married. That means they got, uh, privileges. March! We're moving out. I know your husband was over here. Nice. Have them take him right over to the surgery tent. Has, uh, has he gone? Yes, he's gone. It's a shame he didn't have more time. His sergeant's going to try to get him a pass. He's not sure if he can, but he's going to try. I hope he can. Oh, uh, we have an abdominal in half an hour. Would you like uh, some coffee, Amelia? Yes, thank you. The bag down there, if you have to fill up your canteen. Hey, Mark. You and me, uh, we're buddies, right? Sure, Curb, you know that. Well, how's come you never told me that you was married? I don't know. I... I started to a lot of times, but the way you talk about women, all the different ones, I mean. I, I just love her very much. I guess I just, just didn't want to share her, not even talking. Huh. How long you been married? Two days, not counting the eight months we've been apart. Eight months? Well, that means you got hitched in England, right? Yeah, that's where I met her. <laughs> Boy, you should have seen a chain of command we had to go through to get permission. <laughs> well, how's it come that you was only together for two days, though? Omaha Beach. Hey, you think the Sarge can really swing that pass for me? Oh, forget it. Look, you believe in Santa Claus. Take your uh, act of Congress to get it. What happened to you, Saunders? Breakdown? No, not quite. It was Corporal March. He ran into his wife.
Sergeant, I ask you what happened. Well, you see, she's a nurse, and she was stationed at a hospital that we passed. And it uh, took some doing prying them apart. Well, you're lucky you got here this fast. March is with you, isn't he? Oh, yes, he's up in the truck there. Well, Lieutenant, about March. Uh... You know what they're talking about right now? About whether to give March a pass so he can go see his wife? Uh, it's the truth. We saw him kiss her. Come on, Kirby, get to the end of the line. Hey, you put me there. I'll put you on top of the moon. Oh, come on, Kirby. Hey, come on. No, that's you enough. That's enough. Forget it. Come on, Kirby. Go. Hey, Billy. Did he kiss her right out in front of everybody? Oh, I'll say. Hey, she's an officer. So what? She's a girl, isn't she? Well, yeah, but I mean, kissing an officer. What if she pulls rank on him? Billy, have you ever been married? No. Well, have you ever had a girl? I mean, a real girl. You guys make me sick. Well, what's eating him? Bonjour. Bonjour. Hey, March. Yes, Sarge? It's in the works. The lieutenant's going to make a request from Captain Harper. Hey, Sarge, if, uh, if you can do this for me, you're going to have the work in this eagerest fight a soldier you ever saw. Yeah. I won't forget it, Sarge. It's all right. Je ne parle pas l'anglais. Johnny Paul who? Je ne vous comprends pas. Hey, you, you going to come on back out here in a minute? Sure, be. Come on. <laughs> How's that for a weekend pass, huh? You just forget it. No, nah, you forget it, Sarge, okay? She's not for you, Kirby. Look at your type. What are you talking about? I don't see any off limits sign on her. Hey, why don't you just calm down till we get to Paris? Now, look, let me just get her uh, name or something. I know her name. It's trouble. Now, come on, get in the truck. Let's go. Hey, Kirk. Kirk, the lieutenant's going to send my request for pass on the truck. Nice. Huh? That's good. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Straight, baby, straight. Oh, straight. Hey, Kirby. Don Juan. Come on, get your feet wet. It'll cool you off. Well, you know Kirby doesn't care about money. Come on, let's play cards. That's right. Kirby cares about just one thing. What's that? Kirby. <laughs> hey, sorry. Uh, Lieutenant wants to see you right away. Hey, Sarge, maybe that's about my pass, huh? Hope so, much. Hey. Hey, Crown, why don't you grab a seat? Yeah? No, not me. I got a better way to spend my money. Okay, the pair of Queen's bed. You got what? Hey, Ed, did you get a good look at March's wife? Uh -huh. Pretty? Yeah. You seem like that much of a ladies' man to me. Did he to you? You want to see a real good-looking dame? Are you kidding? I got one I'm going to see tonight. Now, if you want to tag along, maybe she's got a friend. Kirby, you slip the gear. You just tag along and find out. How far you figure that last village? Hey, wait, you can't go in there after dark. I'll show you. Hey, hey, Sarge, did it come through? Not yet, much, but it's in the works. Hey, what do the lieutenant want, Sarge? We're going to lay wire to the combat outpost tomorrow, at daybreak. Oh, no. Who goes? Well, little John and Billy, no packet, cage, you and I cover. Uh, Who rides shotgun for Billy and me? Uh, well, March, it's his turn. Wait, wait a minute, what if his pass comes up? Yeah. Let somebody else ride shotgun. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, I was up last trip. No, he's right. That is, unless you want to volunteer for your buddy. What do you... You don't really think that pass going to come through, do you? Yeah, so does the lieutenant. <sighs> okay, who's going to stand in the path of romance? I'll ride shotgun. Thanks, Curb. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'll ride three in a row when I get back. Thanks a million, Curb. Forget it. Mm. Oh, what was it?
was it? Queens, 50 cents. All right. You're not really going into town, Kirby. Yeah, I'm really going into town, Kirby. Now, you're going to stay here, you're coming with me. You're not, you're not kidding me? You really got a girl? Shh. Are you coming or not? Oh, boy, we get caught, we've had it. Don't wait up for me. It's a Come on. He's done. That was a big reception. Well, that day really goes for you. Look, well, just sit down with you. She'll throw out the money. Hey, is there any uh, table service in uh, serve service? Oh, no, 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 monsieur. Uh, look, uh, well, we'll have a bottle of cognac. Cognac? What do you cognac? Saint Oh, uh, wine. 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 Fine. That's good. That's good. Uh, and my name is Kirby. Kirby. Kirby? Ah, Kirby. What's your name? Claire. Oh, Claire. Hey, listen, Claire. Uh, I came. Claire, monsieur, does not understand English. Perhaps I can help you. Oh, what? Thanks, friend. Listen, you tell her that I'm the guy that she smiled at this afternoon. I think uh, you are mistaken. <laughs> What, you mean I don't know where a girl's coming on to me? Listen, you ask her what time she gets through, will you, friend? When she gets through, monsieur, she goes home. She's uh, betrothed to my brother. You see, he fights with the, uh, how you say, the resistance. Well, I don't know anything about that, but uh, she seems big enough to think for herself, so let's just let her decide, all right? I speak for my brother. I speak for Claire. Look, Claire, uh, when you get finished, uh, when they close up here, I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna meet you outside. Écoutez-moi bien, monsieur. You come here to drink, then drink. Because if you look for something else, you are going to find trouble. Uh, hey, uh, I, I think he's got a point there, huh? All of them. Wait, wait just a minute. Claire, yeah. come on, come on, Kirby, let's go, huh? No, no, go on if you want to. I'm not leaving here. She tells me to go. All right, I'm going. Uh, thanks a lot. Claire, look. You smile at me, and I smile back at you, so I come see you. I, I tell you, monsieur, leave her alone. Now, now, don't put your hands on me, friend. Cependant que le fer est chaud, il faut le battre. <laughs>
Kirby. Kirby. Brown. Mm -hmm. Brown, come on, get up. Uh, get up. What's come the on. matter? Where's Kirby? Huh? I said, where's Kirby? Oh, didn't he get back yet? Get back from where? What? Now, where's Kirby? You answer me. Uh, I don't know, Sergeant. Back from where, Crown? Don't lie to me. I want to know where Kirby went. Look, what are you asking me for? Where's Kirby? Now, you answer me. Well, we went into town. I came back alone. I guess he's still there. What do you mean, you guess? Well, it was with that French girl. At least he was trying. It looked like trouble to me, so I came back. I guess he did all right after all. Yeah, he did all right. He's liable to be tried for missing a patrol. Now, you get over there to the lieutenant, make out a full report on the both of you. Sergeant, I came back. Get over there. Come on, we can. Oh, Sarge, did it, did it come through? No, not yet, but you're gonna have to write shotgun with us after all. Well, then, McCurby, I thought he was gonna. Well, uh, your buddy went over the hill. Kirby went over the hill? Yeah, we're moving out in 15 minutes. <coughs> Maybe your pass will be ready by the time we get back. <laughs> for a few minutes, sir. At least I was. Kirby was really hooked on that girl. Why did you leave? Well, because it uh, looked like trouble to me. I tried to get him to go with me. Stand at attention, so. King 2, Lieutenant Hanley. Yes, sir. I'm looking into it now, Captain. How is he? Well, that's a break, sir. Yes, sir, I'll get my report in right away. King two out. Thank you, sir. For what? For not mentioning me to the captain, sir. Private Crown, you are absent from the bivouac area without permission. Is that not correct? Yes, sir. That is absent without leave, correct? Well, sir, uh, yes, sir, but, but I did come back. You're going on my report to Captain Harper. You'll be punished along with Kirby as soon as he gets out of the hospital. Dismissed. Hospital? for you, Lieutenant. What is it, bullet wounds or shrapnel? Piss, whiskey bottles, and hard toe shoes. Ah! Take it easy, will you, Doc? What's his name and outfit? Uh, Kirby, King Company, 361st Infantry. 361st. Nurse. Yeah, first things first, Lieutenant. Put him in that open bed over there. Sure thing, Lieutenant. this happen? I got beat up. Good old-fashioned alley fight. Why, do you know him, Lieutenant? He's a friend of my husband's. He was here yesterday. Is his company still in this area? I don't know. You'll have to ask him, Lieutenant. All we do is scrape him up and deliver him.
to an officer? What? Oh, um, uh, uh, sorry, Lieutenant. Forgot where I was. Oh, it's a hospital, huh? Feel better? Hey, you're old March's wife, aren't you? I met you, uh, this morning. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Oh, oh ain't that something? Too bad old March didn't get beat up by those guys, huh? I mean, uh, then uh, he'd be here with you right now instead of me. How is he? Oh, Marsh is doing great. Uh, as far as I know, the lieutenant's trying to rustle up a passport so that you two can finish your honeymoon. Well, Kirby, it's refreshing to have someone like you in here. <laughs> Reminds me of the old days at L.A. County General. Knifings, beatings, smash-ups. How are you feeling? Terrible. Well, I'm not surprised. You've got a nice concussion there and two badly sprained, if not broken, fingers. And, uh, well, how many stitches was it? Thirty-six. Thirty-six stitches in your head. Uh, Plus that black eye. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Willows, would you take over here, please? Yes, sir. Lieutenant March, I'd like to see you for a moment. All right, sir. Is he going to be here or what? I don't know. Back. What happened? Artillery heading back. I don't know how bad it is, but it's pretty bad. Where's Doc? Back at Company CP. They had some trouble. Put him in the Jeep. It's only a few miles back to the Evac Hospital. And his wife. All right, come on. Put him in that Jeep. Take him back, Lieutenant. Sure. Who do you want to go with you? Kirby. Oh, he's there already. He's what? Take Crown. He'll explain on the way. All right, you get in that jeep. I guess it doesn't matter much now, but his pass came through. Maybe Kirby can use it. Oh. 
How you feeling, pal? Oh, I hurt. Well, you got nothing to worry about. I heard him talking. He'll be out of here tomorrow. Well, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I got a feeling I'm going to be digging trenches all the way to Berlin. <laughs> What'd you do, get in a fight with a non cow? I oh, know I had a little skirmish with the entire French underground. It's just that I wasn't where I was supposed to be at the time. Hey, Walla. Well, huh? hmm. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Maybe they'll call it desertion and just shoot you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, pal. How do you feel? Oh, worse. Hey, Luther, did you hear anything from my outfit yet? They know you're here. Well, that's something, at least. Uh, I'm not uh, under arrest or anything, am I? Why should you be under arrest? Well, I can think of a couple of reasons. Did you hear anything from Marge? I mean, uh, Andy? Not yet. Or you will. I, I bet she comes barreling through that door any minute now. How well do you know Andy? Oh, Andy and his best buddies. He sure kept you a secret, though. I have to admit that. Cause if you was a wife of mine, I'd have your picture plastered up all over the place. I'd even be talking about you to total strangers. Well, maybe Andy doesn't know me well enough to talk about me. You see, uh, we haven't known each other for very long. Huh. Well. I knew old March had something going for him, though, because uh, he's always sneaking off by himself writing letters. <laughs> you must have got one every day. Almost. Hey, that's some dame, huh? Oh, you bet. And to look at her, you'd think she was just about the sweetest, purest girl ever, wouldn't you? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? She's married to your friend, isn't she? Yeah, that's right. What about her? Well, she's holding hands with the good doctor here. Are you kidding? Well, I've been here for three weeks. I may have a couple of pounds of crap lead in me, but I'm not blind. I don't believe you. Whatever it makes you, not your wife. Pretty bad. Take him in there. I'll get Captain Anders. Oh, hey, hey, sorry. Give up. Arrest me, but get me out of here, will you? I put him in the ready ward, doctor, in case you want to operate. This is the sergeant that brought him in. I see. Lieutenant March, get the information from the sergeant. I'll go and have a look at him. The captain. You're Andy's sergeant, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. No. Please, God, don't let it... Did he get hurt bad? Well, what are you trying to do? Bang the whole thing on me? So I, now look, he, he was up for that patrol in the first place. Now I was just doing him a favor by... Okay, so I goofed. Now look, I, I didn't mean to duck anything. Sarge, Sarge, I got myself beat up now. You know I wouldn't do that on purpose. Well, come on, say something, will you? You've got nothing to say.
Is it very bad? I don't know. It could be. Some of the metal penetrated the skull. How much or how far, I won't know until I go in. He's got to live. He's just got to live. I mean, I'm going to do the best I can. I know how important it is for all three of us. Because if he dies, They're going to release you tomorrow morning. Did they tell you? Good. Maybe they'll give old March this bed. This is dandy. You can see everything from here. Dr. Anders is going to operate now. He's really very badly wounded. Dr. Anders, huh? Now, uh, let's, uh, cozy. I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do, Lieutenant Miss March. You understand, all right. You're in enough trouble now, Kirby. Don't well, press it. But uh, you tell me why she's not mad at me for ducking out on that patrol so the husband could go get herself blown up. No, I I'll tell you why. Because she's got the guilt right up to there. All the time old Andy's out there in the, in the mud just scrounging around trying to fight this lousy war. She was in there playing patty cake with that doctor. Now, you shut up, Kirby. You hear me? You just shut up. Sorry, Lieutenant. Kirby, I'm going to see to it they throw the book at you. For what? Just, I was just telling the truth. You ask him, he'll tell you. I don't have to ask anybody. It's none of my business. And it's none of your business. You got it? So just shut up! Only one thing is your business. One thing, and that's all. That's being a soldier and doing your job, and that is the one thing you didn't do. Now I'm going to tell you something else. You want to know the reason why she didn't get burned at you for sending March out in that detail? Because she didn't know. You want to know why? Because I didn't tell her because it's none of her business. No, I want you to do some deep thinking about who's up to where with the guilts. And while you're at it, you just give a little thought to your best buddy, March, who's out there being operated on. Because he might not make it. And if he doesn't, you're never going to forget it. <laughs> now there's what I call a tough... Oh, shit. Sure. Would you like some coffee, Sergeant? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. We don't have any milk. Oh, black, black is fine. Would you like to sit down? things usually, usually take? It depends. He was telling the truth. I am in love with Dr. Anders. After the war, I'm going to leave Andy. Look, uh, Lieutenant, your personal life is your own. I want to tell you. Because if he dies, Dr. Anders and I could never. 
It would always be between us. Do you understand, Sergeant? I'm not trying to. It's not as bad as it sounds. I'm trying to be honest. I fell in love with this man. I didn't try to. I didn't want to. I just did. Thanks for the coffee, Lieutenant. Well, what would you do? Please, Sergeant. Look, Lieutenant, everybody's got a problem. Everybody, you, Kirby, March. There's no time for it. There just isn't enough time. Only thing I could do is try to hold on to my men and keep them alive. Just about the toughest skull I've ever run across. Thank God. Thank God. Well, look, take it easy. There's nothing to really worry about. Uh, Captain? If Kirby's ready for release, I can take him back with me. Oh, certainly, Sergeant. Kirby can go anytime. Oh, Lieutenant March, would you prepare Private Kirby for checkout, please? Your husband's going to be all right. Of course, Doctor. Hello. Now, you keep warm and come back and see us soon. Honey, sir, where I'm going, they got bars and balls and chains and no girls of any kind. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> you think you're going to sit this war out in some soft stuff, kid? You just forget it. Like I said, enjoy the war. Bye. I'll get him down. I still think she gave old March a rotten deal. So a quick war marriage doesn't work. What are we supposed to do? Write our congressman? Besides, if March's head is as hot as the doctor said it was, maybe he won't let her go.